Uh, but uh, like ten years ago, like hip hop shows, like it was crazy. Like all type of like artists here did, did shows, like with Kenny Lamar, Don Kennedy, all these artists before they just super big. You know what I'm saying? Just by being a rapper in Oklahoma and knowing people, you say you get on these shows and stuff. So uh, now it's just about people marketing themselves and taking themselves as a brand and understand the uh, mechanics of what an artist is because a lot of uh, artists in Oklahoma don't know because no one like to like, hey, you want to do this? You need to do this and get this straight, get your business straight on this. Ooh, there's this list of things that you need to do, but it's no one telling young kids or artists that. So it's like, now it's to a point that enough of us has done research and went through trials and shit. It's like, all right, well, we know about this and we just spread information to the people that we fuck with, you know what I'm saying? And that way, keep going down with the spread information. And we can keep going up. For sure, and I feel like overall, like the the state even, not just Oklahoma City, like it's it's more um, involved with each other. I don't, like everyone's more collaborative almost than than it, it was back in the day from what I, the way I understand it. I mean, Facts, I because like but. certain, like Tulsa, like, it was a Tulsa one fuck with OKC, then like, Niggas didn't even mention law, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, they weren't getting the uh, respect they deserve because they always, you know, they got like fresh, you know, Bank Road Jug. This is a couple that I, I actually listen to, you know what I'm saying? So, in Tulsa, they, they got a whole thing going. They got a whole fucking machine right now behind yeah. them. So, it's it's really a, a precarious place that Oklahoma's in. It's like, at really any moment, somebody can just really make a something that, and it's just, woof. Yeah, so talk about that, because um, I talked to Chris Savage about that, like, it, it was, it's still kind of a, a weird dynamic between Oklahoma City and Tulsa, I feel like, um, not as much as, just, just it, it's two different worlds almost. It's two different worlds for sure. But, but you're one of the people that I feel like is is heavily in both of them. It's so. the, for me, it's the same world, uh, just because I've been fucking with Tulsa for a minute, you know what I'm saying, We're doing shows out there and just, just fucking with the people, and they fuck with me tough, like. Plays wise, like see whatever the city does, Tulsa's gonna do it. My plays wise, like the exact same shit, and uh, I'm very grateful for fucking with people in Tulsa because it's like a second home, you know. Uh, but as far as like the rift and it may be like an imaginary thing, but like the real artists that fuck with each other, they working together, you know, what I'm saying making classic. Like my next project, 90% Tulsa artists on it, you know, what I'm saying so like people that are fucking with them, fuck with them, not shit, you know. Do your own thing if you want.